So today, I'm calling for the abolishment of history classes in Illinois. We're concerned that current school history teachings lead to white privilege and a racist society. And so I'm happy that we have a very diverse group of individuals here with different walks of life to say that they believe that, but it costs us as a society in the long run forever when we don't understand our brothers and sisters that we live, work, and play with. I'm calling on the State Board of Education to end the teaching of history and the local school districts to take immediate action by removing the current history books and curriculum practices that unfairly communicate our history until a suitable alternative is developed. We should instead devote greater attention towards civics and ensure students understand our democratic process and how they can be involved. Today, I don't know the party of individuals here, and I'm sure we have people from different parties, but today this is an issue that brings us all together, and that is getting our history right. So we may have Republicans, Democrats, um, independents, but it doesn't matter when you're talking about civics and getting our history right and that's why we all stand together today to make sure that that happens. Because a person that understands the true history of the flag, that flag, what is it called? The Confederate flag, wouldn't really fly that flag because they wouldn't understand the pain and hurt and they would understand that they're flying a flag and they appear to me to be flying a flag of something that lost, which makes them losers because they're flying a losing flag. They could very easily fly an American flag and be winners, but yet they want to fly a flag that's hurtful. And so thank you, Mayor, for stepping up. We really appreciate you. And I also want to thank Lashandra for um, stepping up as a citizen and doing the civic duty to um, bring that to the attention of everyone. So many people say, how do you pay for the new books? Well, the truth is we paid for books through all of these um, publishers. I think they owe us a refund. <laughs> Who and where can you go and purchase something that's not true and accurate and continue to pay for it and be satisfied. So I'm calling on our Attorney General, um, Kwame Rao, to investigate the textbook industry that sells books to Illinois so that we can begin the process of getting refunds from all the years that the school districts have spent money to buy inaccurate textbooks. We're also going to make sure that we pass House Bill 4954. I have to always ask Malika about the bill number because we have lots of bills and I did write it down. I just wanted to make sure that it was um, House Bill 4954. She sleeps it, she lives it, and I think it's her new license plate number. <laughs> so thank you so much. And we will pass House Bill 4954 and we will change the way history is taught in the state of Illinois. And everyone, everyone, regardless to where you're from, regardless to where you come from in the world, your history will be accurately accounted for in Illinois. Whether you're gay, straight, black, white, Latino, Asian, it doesn't matter. You deserve to be accurately depicted or in the book from page one to the end. The Jewish community must also have an accurate accounting of their history, blacks, whites. I mean, I think in closing, we think that the history about whites are accurate in the books, but we know it's not. Because what the history teaches us about white people is that they're superior in a land that's 
all of ours and not just made for white men or white women. Women have a right to also be included in the history books in the right way and not just included here and there. So our goal is to have a whole new system of teaching history in the state of Illinois. And until that day, we will do what we're doing now. We will practice civics and we will do everything that we can to make sure that people are part of the development of this new curriculum in the state of Illinois so that everyone could be included in the history books to end racism, discrimination, and white privilege.